Welcome to Chapter in 10, your ultimate guide to mastering Class 7 chapters in just a few minutes. Have you ever wondered why ice cubes melt in your drink or how a tiny bud turns into a beautiful flower? It's almost like a superhero transforming things with a flick of a wrist. Today, we're going to unlock the secrets behind these everyday superpowers of nature by tackling important questions about changes around us, physical and chemical. This chapter is divided into two parts, and this is the second part of our journey. Today, we're diving deep into it through a fantastic Quanda challenge that will help you master this chapter. So grab your thinking caps, get ready to guess the answers, and let's spark our brains. Let us switch on our minds and see what we can discover. First question, what are the characteristics of a physical change? A physical change is when a substance's shape, size, or state changes, but it is still the same substance. No new substance is formed. Next, can you give me some examples of reversible and non-reversible changes? Reversible changes are those that can be undone. For example, you can get sugar back from water by boiling it or turn steam back into water by cooling it down. Non-reversible changes are those that cannot be undone. For example, once you stitch a shirt, you can't get the original cloth back. You also can't turn an idly back into batter or a ripe fruit back to an unripe one. True or false, is melting of wax necessary for a candle to burn? That's true. The wax must melt and become a gas to be able to burn. Let's try another one. True or false, is turning water vapor back into liquid water a chemical change? That's false. It is a physical change because only the state of the water is changing. True or false, is making compost from leaves a chemical change? That's true. The leaves are changed into a new substance, compost. How about this? True or false, does a chemical change happen when you mix baking soda with lemon juice? That's true, a new gas is formed, which shows a chemical change. Next question, what is the brown deposit on a bicycle handle, and what type of change is it? The brown deposit is called rust. This is a chemical change because a new substance is formed. Is folding a handkerchief a reversible change? Yes, folding a handkerchief is a physical change that can be easily reversed by unfolding it. What is the name for a chemical process where a substance reacts with oxygen and gives off heat? This process is called combustion. It is a chemical change because new substances are formed. What happens when magnesium is burned in the air and what type of change is it? When magnesium is burned in the air, it produces a new substance called magnesium oxide, which is a white powder. This is a chemical change. Is the change of water to ice and water to steam a physical or a chemical change? It is a physical change. The water is just changing its form, solid, liquid or gas, but it is still water. Is curdling of milk a physical or a chemical change and why? It is a chemical change. A new substance, curd, is formed and you cannot get the original milk back. Is the formation of soil from rocks a physical or chemical change? It involves both. The rocks are broken into smaller pieces, physical change. And chemicals in the air and water react with the rock minerals to form new substances, chemical change. What type of change is it when you chop vegetables, peel potatoes or cut fruits? This is a physical change because you are only changing the size and shape of the items, not turning them into a new substance. What type of change is it when you put seeds and vegetable peels into a pot? This is a physical change because you're just moving and collecting the items without changing them. What type of change is it when fruits and vegetable peels decompose to form compost? This is a chemical change because the old materials are broken down and new substances are formed. What type of change is it when seeds sprout and grow into plants with flowers? This is a chemical change because the plant is creating new substances as it grows and develops. So to summarize, what are some examples of a physical change? 
A physical change is when a substance's appearance changes, but no new substance is formed. Examples are tearing paper, melting ice, and folding clothes. In each case, the substance itself doesn't change. What are some examples of a chemical change? A chemical change is when a new substance is formed. Examples are rusting, curdling of milk, ripening of fruits, burning of magnesium, and mixing baking soda with vinegar. In all these examples, the original substance is changed into something new. What is an example of a change that is both physical and chemical? The process of burning a candle is an example. The melting of the wax is a physical change, while the burning of the wax to produce new gases is a chemical change. Finally, when lime water turns milky, what does it mean and what causes this to happen? Lime water turns milky when it mixes with a gas called carbon dioxide. This happens when you mix baking soda with either vinegar or lemon juice because that combination creates carbon dioxide gas. The change is a chemical change because a new substance is formed, which makes the lime water look milky. Excellent work, everyone. You've tackled some tricky questions about physical and chemical changes around us. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep learning. This video is part of our comprehensive Class 7 Science Curiosity playlist, so make sure to check out the full series for more exciting lessons. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. For smarter, faster learning, make sure you subscribe to Chapter in 10. See you next time.